What's up guys, we're Pongfinity. Today we're practicing with Benedek Ola. Let's have a good practice. Yeah, come on. So before you come to the practice, it's important to set your mind already, what you're gonna do. Like you have to know when is your tournament or when is your next match if you play in the weekend. So Mondays you can push it a little bit harder with the footwork. So today is kind of footwork and strength training and I like to do some small stuff which I had problems in the match so I can also correct my mistakes. But before the practice starts I know what I'm gonna do. Exercise 1. In this exercise, players play backhand kicking against each other with a high speed and whenever Mika wants to change here, I will try to catch it with a fast controlled forehand drive. This exercise is a good to develop your reaction speed from the backhand side and also gives you a steady safe feeling in the backhand. Remember to keep your racket always up so you can keep up with the speed here. Exercise 2. Here we have Mika play forehand spin from the middle of the table for me, all table. It's hard exercise for both of you, so try to keep up the good quality and hit as many as you can on the table. This is also super fun to play. Exercise 3, forehand tactical counter loop. Here we work on our forehand finishing shot with an optional backhand finish. We give one side a half long service, which he opens up to our forehand side and we work on finishing the point here. It is important to do this from your match services also, to get used to the spins you get from your own service. <laughs> Exercise 4. This is all about small detail spins and how you continue the game after that. This is very tactical and varies for every person. Try to picture how people normally return your service and how you would make the point from that. Multiple, here you can practice most effectively because your partner shouldn't miss any balls. One two, one two, one two. First one short, one long downspin after that. Middle, middle, back and back and straight lines. So I flip and you me. Yes. Then the next one short and one long upspin. Here we develop the in and out movement. Your multiple partner will not give you time between the two balls and you have to move back after the short like your life will depend on it. Change, let's go. Short, long, extremely fast like one, two. Important to make the short return with good quality, not just giving you a high ball push with not so much spin. You play here, here, da, 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 da. Exercise 2. Fast tempo balls all over the table. Faster! This needs some skills from the coaches to make because it's so fast. <laughs> so you have to keep your hand always up. Otherwise, this is gonna happen. You're gonna be late, you come from down. Yeah. It's all about reaction speed and hitting the ball as fast as possible back without mistakes. If you miss too many, you should try to put some balls on table first before advancing to the higher level and speed. So the idea is now the cross step. And the point is, when you make the cross step, you go forward with it. That is not defensive. Now this will be tough on the legs and also something I'm not so good at. You try to move to the forehand with one cross leg step as far as you can go and come back from this position and continue the game. One more, you can do it. Come on, put everything there. Ah! Yes, jump! Ah! Jump! Ah! Ah! Otto, your turn. Oh my god! <laughs> you should use cross step when you have to cover a lot of ground oh. and a single normal jump step is not enough. Oh. Come on! Oh. Alright, hold on. <laughs> 
problem. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how an Olympic table tennis player practices. Don't forget to subscribe right here. Until next time.